The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. c4 controls the important d5 square. This prepares the bishop for development. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the c4 pawn. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. That was a free pawn. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the d4 pawn. Qa4 develops the queen, threatens the c4 pawn and pins the knight. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This develops a knight off its starting square getting it into the action. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is good. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is excellent. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This reveals an attack on a knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level.